Vietnamese born Levanton speaks out for the first time regarding the death of Princess Diana. The driver whose car is alleged to have clipped Princess Diana's moments before her fatal Paris smash has sensationally claimed he was ordered not to talk about the accident. In a world exclusive interview, Vietnamese born Levanton spoke for the first time about claims it was his white Fiat Uno that struck Diana's Mercedes. He revealed that when British police asked him to come to the UK to talk to them about the crash, some French officers told him, don't go there. Diana died after her car hit a pillar in the Pont de la Matonal in Paris on August 31, 1997. Her companion Dottie Fade and his driver Henri Paul were also killed. Diana's bodyguard Trevor Rhys Jones survived, but was badly injured. Vanton's father claimed in 2006 that his son had his Uno car repaired and Rhys prayed later that day. Investigators believe this could suggest it collided with Diana's vehicle. Now, Vanton has responded to those claims for the first time. It has sparked calls for the investigation into Diana's death to be reopened as a cold case. Vanton, a 22-year-old taxi driver at the time, was questioned by French police in 1997 after forensic experts concluded white paint on his vehicle matched that found on the wreckage of Diana's car. While he gave a statement to the inquest denying he was the driver of the Fiat which fled the scene, he was only ever interviewed about the crash by French police. He has now finally been tracked down, and he has explained for the first time why he refused to come to the UK to help police inquiries. Vanton told a team writing a book on the crash that he will receive Scotland Yard investigators if they approach him. At his home in Paris, the bodybuilder and chauffeur was told British investigators are still desperate to talk to him about the night of Di's accident. He replied, I know they will come. Several times they told me they would come back. Because eventually they told me, yes, they will come. They wanted me to go to England. You know what the French police told me? It's not the same law as in France, don't go there. Don't go there. He told me, it's not the same law as in France, don't go there. Don't go there, to England. When questioned via a translator about his father's claim that his white Fiat Uno was repainted red, he added, the police report, they know why I repainted it. When you have no money and you have a damaged old car, what do you do? Van Tan added that he felt exonerated and innocent over accusations he was involved in Diana's death. Former Met Police Commissioner Lord Stevens headed Operation Paget, the inquiry into conspiracy theories surrounding the crash. In 2017, he said Van Tan's testimony could help disprove such ideas. He added, what we have said to Mr. Tan is, we believe you were the driver of the Fiat. Talk us through what happened. We don't blame him for the accident. My Paget report said that a Fiat Uno was involved but was not the cause of the crash. We are still trying to interview him. The team of journalists who spoke to Vanton this summer produced a podcast, Diana, Case Solved and a book of the same name, which is out now. Vanton's new claim that French police ordered him not to cooperate has sparked calls for the investigation into Diana's death to be reopened. Michael Mansfield QC, who represented Dodi's father Mohammed al at Diana's inquest, said, there is a real question mark here because the French authorities were particularly anxious to ensure that it was blamed to the paparazzi. He, Levanton, had the car resprayed. The Mercedes obviously did hit the Fiat. Whether that was an accident by the driver driving too fast into the tunnel or whether the Fiat Uno was in the wrong lane, I can't take it beyond that. Former BBC royal correspondent Michael Cole said the interview with Vanton should be passed to British and French authorities as part of a formal request to reopen the Diana inquest. He added, as a matter of urgency, this information should be conveyed to an officer of the court. Fans of Princess Diana have heard the name Le Vanton before. He is the driver who was allegedly involved in a collision involving Diana and her boyfriend, Dottie Fade. A Fiat Uno clipped the Princess vehicle, and they ended up crashing in a tunnel in Paris. Vanton was reportedly told not to talk about what had happened, and he has now come forward to reveal the information for the first time. Le Vanton comes forward. Fade, 
Diana, and their driver Henri Paul were all killed on August 31, 1997. Diana would die from her injuries a few hours later at the hospital. Many believe the case should be reopened in light of Vanton coming forward. The Daily Star reported that Vanton spoke to a group writing a book about the Paris crash. He admitted he would speak with Met Police if they wanted to talk with him now. He had already been originally interrogated by French police at the time. Vanton's father speaks out. A white Fiat Uno left evidence on Diana's car of its paint from the alleged collision. Vanton's own father said in 2006 that his son's car was repaired that same day the event occurred. Many people have long thought this clearly suggests the vehicles did in fact collide. His original statement. Vanton gave an initial statement to French police at the time saying that he wasn't the driver in the incident. The group that spoke to Vanton created a podcast called Fatal Voyage Diana, case solved and wrote a book as well about their own investigation. Le Vanton speaks about investigators wanting him to go to England. The team spoke to Vanton in his home in Paris. When told that British police still wished to question him, he said he was aware. I know they will come. Several times they told me they would come back, Vanton says. Because eventually they told me, yes, they will come. They wanted me to go to England. Vanton said he was told by authorities in France not to go to England. You know what the French police told me? It's not the same law as in France, don't go there. Don't go there, Danton says. He told me, it's not the same law as in France, don't go there. Don't go there, to England. He admitted his car was damaged and that's why he repainted it. He was also asked about the repainting of his Fiat Uno to the color red and his father's subsequent claims about it. The police report, they know why I repainted it. He explains. When you have no money and you have a damaged old car, what do you do? Lord Stevens, the former Met Police Commissioner, said in 2017 that Vanton's statement could clearly dispute conspiracy theories. What we have said to Mr. Ton is, we believe you were the driver of the Fiat. Talk us through what happened, he says. We don't blame him for the accident. My Paget report said that a Fiat Uno was involved but was not the cause of the crash. We are still trying to interview him. It will be interesting to see if Diana's case will now be reopened in light of this information.